A wise young man once said, Don't wait for tomorrow to live for today. And that was Zach Sobiak. So in this movie, we learn more about the true story of Zach Sobiak as he makes the inspirational hit we all know is Clouds. When the trailers for this movie came out, I had no idea who Zach Sobiak even was. Like I never knew the story or what happened or anything. But after seeing this movie, I am so intrigued to learn more about his life now. I actually saw this movie mainly because, you know, I really like Sabrina Carpenter and I really like Little Howard. But I didn't know what I got myself into because this is such an incredible movie. This is easily the best Disney Plus film ever made. Hell, it's my favorite movie in 2020 so far. Yeah, I said it. This movie is not only one of the best teen dramas I've ever seen, but it's also one of the best movies based on true events. Usually when movies are based on a true story, they rarely capture what made those events so special. But this is the rare occasion when they can be just amazing. And all of that not only goes to the director of this movie, Justin Baldoni, but also the writing, which is clearly very passionate in what they were doing and wanted the legacy of Zach Sobiak to be lifted even more. And even the performances as well, which are all spot on. The one that stands out the most is definitely Finn Argus as Zack. His performance is just so chilling and just so well done. I never knew what osteosarcoma was until watching this film, so I don't know what it does to a person. But the way it's represented here makes it feel and look really painful. He's easily the best thing in the film, giving some very sweet lighthearted moments, but then some very soul crushing and hard moments to get through without sobbing the whole way, which I'll get to in a bit. Sabrina Carpenter as always is great and her portrayal as the best friend of Zack made her kind of do both of her strengths which is her acting and her beautiful singing, and it's easily one of her best performances. The entire family is so great and endearing, the girlfriend as well is just so sweet. Lil Rel Howery as the teacher was great and had some of the best lines in the movie. Another thing that also plays a very big part is the music being so moving and phenomenal. The ones I really love is Fix Me Up because I'm not gonna lie, that song is amazing and it's probably my favorite song at the moment. And who couldn't forget Clouds? I mean, I'm so happy that it got number one again. I mean, that's huge and I feel so happy for that song. And also, I mean, that song really does speak on so many levels. But aside from that, there seriously has not been a film that gave me this much of an impact since probably Joker. It put me in this mood that made me question life in a way that I never thought of before. Like when Sobiak was said that he would live up to a year or so and what did he do? He tried to make people happy. And there was a recurring theme in the film that any time somebody would talk about him and his disease, he would try to crack a joke and I feel like he said to himself, Alright, I know I don't have a lot of time left in my life, but I'm gonna do whatever it takes to spread as much joy as I can. And that really left an impact on me. I actually cried a number of times in this movie, but the breaking point for me was in the end when he goes all his way to get to sing in that concert, even though we know he can collapse in any second. And you'd think he would pull it off all the way through, but no. Instead, he's suffering out there and keeps hyperventilating, and even when the security was going to come and help him, he refuses. Which honestly just proves how fantastic the direction was for this movie because it was just so intense that when you see the crowd singing the rest of the song for him and the joy in Zack's face, it just... it gave me tears of joy.